Dear students, those who are in online uh, lab, those who are taking up online lab, I think they are supposed to do the protease experiment because uh, you cannot do any harder experiment at your end. But still, I welcome you all if you are in Dubai, if you are able to come to campus. So please come and do the hardware experiments, other two hardware experiments where you, you do the experiment, you see that uh, physical uh, components. You will do, uh, you will connect a motor, stepper motor to a, a processor and see how it works. And also you just do other hardware experiments with the physical hardware thing. Those who are not able to come, so stuck in India or Abu Dhabi somewhere, you can do this lab 9 through Protis once again. And this lab 9 is something to do with the memory interfacing and display that content of the memory on the 7 segment LED. Here we are going to interface memory through programmable peripheral controller 8 to 5 5 which you have used in previous two experiments that is in lab 7 and lab 8 and display the content of the memory in a 7 segment LED. Here you are going to use a ROM, ROM chip and data to the ROM chip is supplied through a notepad, a text file, okay, that in due course you can see how exactly to do that, okay. So as usual, uh, the block diagram or how we are going to interface a memory to 8086 through 8255 and then display the content on the 7 segment display, okay. Now see what exactly we are going to do here is that uh, the connection 8086 and buffer and 8255 remain same. These things remain same, right? So what we do, we send the data address. Okay, we just send the address from which the data has to be read to port E. Okay, and whenever the address is uh, supplied to this ROM A, okay, uh, and the read signal is also used to read the data. The ROM will put that put the data corresponding to that address okay, in the data bus, which is connected to the display. That is what it is going to do. Right? So the address is generated by this port A, and as soon as the ROM gets the address, and corresponding address is generated here. And in the program, you are going to generate certain addresses from 0, 0, 0, 01 like that till FF will be generated, and you can see that the corresponding data which is actually uh, stored in the Excel file, sorry, uh, in the notepad file, okay, will be displayed here on the memory content that is in the display, okay. So, this is what you are going to see. The real circuit diagram you can see here. See the circuit diagram. Now, see this connection is same. You can see this 8086 and all this same as when you already done it. And what other things you are going to do is, the address is generated through 8255 and these addresses are displayed here. The two digits, last two digits of the address is displayed here. We're using only that, uh, a small part of the address. We are not using all the all the addresses. Now this is your memory chip. It's your memory chip. Okay. And this memory chip is going to give the data. Okay. As soon as you, uh, generate that particular address, right. So once it gives out the data corresponding to that address, that is given to this 7 segment LED, okay. And this 7 segment LED will actually generate that uh, uh, data, okay. This is what it does, right. Because data which you are going to put is only, uh, which we are going to see here is only 0 to F. That's why we are using only four four bits of this. It's a very simple uh, method of uh, interfacing a ROM and a seven segment LED. As you can see here we are using only four line. Why we are, we are using only four line? Because we are going to display only zero to F, which requires only uh, four bits. And this seven segment display is it's a different from one you used earlier. 
this is actually having a, a decoder inside it okay a decoder inside it that's why input is only four four bit for this here also input four bit here also input four bit this this chip itself has a uh, seven segment uh, decoder into that right okay so now this you can just do the connection as you have done earlier i think at this position you have already practiced do do the connections okay so this is the connection diagram and the program here and this program uh, you will really under uh, you will understand whenever you cover a2 to a2 55 a2 55 is a programmable peripheral interface uh, which is which can be programmed using a program status word so how to use those program status word what is a port and all those things you will definitely study in a255 which will be dealt maybe in next week okay as usual uh, you can start with the uh, uh, double clicking on the uh, icon and uh, go for a new project and you all know this step your project name select proper things okay and uh, select 8086 this step also you know and then what you will get is a, a schematic capture menu and a source code in schematic capture menu in schematic capture menu so what you have to do is you have to draw the entire circuit diagram which is given in the manual and what are the components to be used everything given here you can all the add all the components which is to be required and then you draw the circuit diagram once you draw the circuit diagram then type in the program don't try to do copy and paste try to type in the program whatever is given in the manual then build the project see that it is successful after that you have a small work to do what is that small work to do see here you have to uh, put the data corresponding to you have to put the data corresponding to the the value which you are going to display right so now each digit is going to display 0 to ff this also going to 0 to ff so totally it is going to digit uh, display digits okay now you open a new notepad file okay in that notepad file okay you can just uh, put the values here you can see you are, uh, it is a a 62 a 02 12 0a 0b ff 2f all these are data right And one thing remember this aa corresponding to the data corresponding to address 00 02 corresponding to address 01 like that you have the all this data corresponding to that continuous address like 01 02 03 04 05 06 07 08 09 a b c d like that okay so this is the file you have to generate okay in the notepad and save it as you need any anything something like but extension should be dot bin my data dot bin okay so open a notepad and insert number to be stored in the rom and save it as a my my data dot bin okay hope okay, you understood this okay now once you are done with that okay so uh, that's what i have explained you that this data corresponding to 00 address 00 and 02 this is corresponding to address 01 and this is corresponding to it and so on now what you do how you, will you add this data to the rom okay so you are going to choose rom ic 27512 how you are going to add this data okay double click on the ic okay double click on the ic you get this menu now image file go to image file so you open this see there is a folder open icon there okay open that folder okay and select that my data dot bin wherever you have so, uh, stored it okay after that one small thing you have to do that is okay so once you put this entire thing in the uh, file here in the image file see once you open this and select that uh, bin file that this entire information will appear there okay and see you will you will get only till this point till my data dot bin one thing you have to add one small thing you have to add is you give comma s a s c h hex okay it is this ascheex you have to add as an addition to that okay understood this okay so now once you do this okay you save this press okay press okay 
after that as usual you run the simulation when you run the simulation you can see this particular uh, seven segment ad will display the address this will display the value now you can open that notepad file which you have uh, uh, saved and check the data whether it is displaying as per the uh, data which you have stored in the notepad if it is displaying then then your execution is correct and also you change the data okay once again okay and then see it is displaying whatever data changed this is what you are going to do in this uh, experiment okay so uh, it is same as the, the circuit diagram uh, and the program writing everything is similar to the one you have already done earlier so you can easily do it without any instructions in the laboratory go through this video again and again and you can do it okay this is what the circuit you have to draw draw it properly and i told you double click on this and if you see this here if you click on this you can add that bin file which you already created and you can see that till here till my data dot bin will appear after that manually you have to add these ACHEX in that okay and then save it don't touch anything here just save it that's all right so once you did that you can keep your uh, notepad file open here just to check the data whether the same data is displayed or not right now just go to your debug then you check your program first i think once you, you are done with the program and if it shows uh, uh, executed properly you can rebuild it build the project once again it shows uh, completed successfully and come to the schematic capture go to debug and then run simulation okay you can see that whether it is going to display fifth one is ff see here fifth one is ff you can see you can see that 1 0 1 1 1 2 it continues like that all other addresses are zero because i not added in this in this excel file if you add all the data it will go till ff it will show that entire data in this sorry 0 1 is aa you can see i have put aa here okay then 0 2 then 3f then 4f then 5f then 6f then 7f 2 3 3 4 and 4 5 and other data is not there but it is showing as a 0 0 0 0 here if you put the data here you can see you can check it you can add some data and once again simulate you can will get the data what is stored in this this is what you have to do in this experiment so do this and enjoy this experiment